Fyodor Davidovich Kulikov was born on February 4, 1918, to a peasant family in the Penzo Blast in Russia. Like his parents, Kulikov studied and graduated as an agronomist. In 1938, he started work in a sugar combine, and attended an agricultural institute, where he graduated in 1941. In 1940, he became a member of the Bolshevik Party and became a leading figure in the local Komsomol, regional committee. He was appointed to the position of chairman of the executive committee of the regional party committee of the Penza Blast. In Penza, Kulikov became a close friend of the future Soviet leader Konstantin Chernyenko. Kulikov advanced through the Soviet hierarchy quickly and in 1955 he became Deputy Minister of Agriculture of the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic, eventually being promoted to Minister of Grain Products and in 1960, he was appointed to First Secretary of the Stavropol Regional Party Committee. During his tenure as Stavropol First Secretary he appointed Mikhail Gorbachev to the provincial level of the party apparatus a promotion which would prove to be crucial to Gorbachev's future. In 1964, he left his office in Stavropol to pursue national politics. Gorbachev took over Kulikov's role as first secretary. In 1964, Kulikov moved to Moscow to become the head of the agricultural department of the Central Committee. Eleven months later, he was appointed to the post of Central Committee Secretary for Agriculture. He was elected to the Central Committee in 1964, and to a seat in the Secretariat in September 1965. Gorbachev would often consult with Kulikov, as their closeness helped Gorbachev, establish friendly relations with KGB Chairman Yuri Andropov. At the 24th Party Congress, Kulikov became a Politburo member without serving a term as candidate member. It's believed that Kulikov greatly impressed Leonid Brezhnev due to his achievements in agriculture. Three other Politburo members, Volodymyr Sherbitsky, Alexander Shilapin and Dmitry Polyansky, were all believed to have a future in the Council of Ministers, while first world commentators speculated that Kulikov's future was more in line with political and executive work at the top level of leadership. Kulikov was one of four who had a seat in both the Secretariat and Politburo, the others were Brezhnev, Suslov, and Andrei Kirilenko. In his later years, Kulikov had become one of Kirilenko's counterweights in the Central Committee. While Brezhnev never had an obvious heir apparent, Kulikov was seen as a likely successor on the grounds of his age. Other notable competitors, like Kirilenko and Suslov, were older than Brezhnev and not seen as strong candidates. But in the prestige order voted by the Supreme Soviet in 1975, Kulikov was ranked seventh. It has been theorized that Kulikov had shifted his allegiance from Chernko's faction to Kirilenko and Andropov's, causing resentment. The most commonly assumed cause of Kulikov's death on July 17, 1978, is natural causes. But during Brezhnev's later years, Brezhnev was thought to be living in fear of Yuri Andropov. Anonymous sources state that Andropov may have had involvement in the deaths of Kulikov in 1978 and Pyotr Masherov in 1980. According to Soviet politician Fyodor Morgan, Kulikov seemed worried just days before his death, some believe he may have committed suicide. According to Mikhail Gorbachev, no members of the Politburo cancelled or interrupted their holidays when hearing the news of Kulikov's death. His successor to the Office of Secretary for Agriculture was his former protégé, Gorbachev. He was buried at the Kremlin Wall Necropolis, and while all Politburo members were obliged to attend a fellow Politburo member's funeral, none of those who had allegiance to Chernyenko and Brezhnev attended. Those who had sworn allegiance to Kirilenko and Andropov were present, including such prominent figures as Andrei Gromyko and Dmitry Ustinov.